Hi everyone, I am Nikita from Standard 12. I am here to talk about the topic of clean and green India. Why I have taken this topic means India being the economically growing country in the world. However, in the upcoming years, India would be surely in the top 3 list of economically growing country. Since it is growing country, but it is not good in cleaning. So here, I will give you some suggestions to just make sure that India would be surely green and clean in the upcoming years. The term green refers to a city of greenery, that of trees, plants and etc. While the term clean refers to a city that is free from pollution and environment degradation. But these terms are relative in nature. We all want our society to be clean and green. But it gets noticed that most of us don't get involved in the cleanliness of our society. The term Clean and Green India was first introduced by Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi sir in the year of 2014, Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. The clean has been replaced by the grey. It is not just the look but the atmosphere of such cities that is full of dust, pollution, noise and incessantly rushing crowds that give a monotonous impression about them. We should contribute something towards our country making clean and green. We should plant trees as much in number as we can. We should not throw garbage on the roadside but in proper dustbins. We should be aware people for the cleanliness of the city. By these ways we can give a part of effort for the environment. For the progress of India, the people of India need to be healthy and good health will only happen when there is cleanliness. The concept of clean city is incomplete without the concept of green city. Our effort should be in both the directions. By that way we can make our city more liable. Do you know America is the top one level of producing electricity from the solid waste. And Japan, it produces paper and thread from the banana. If they can, why can't we? I don't tell you to invent something from the waste. But I tell you to reduce the waste to make our country and city clean and green. Don't use plastic bags or plastic. First, say no to plastic. Use reusable bags and etc. Thank you for giving me this wonderful opportunity. Thank you all. I wish our country will be definitely be in the clean and green city through the world. Thank you all. Thank you. Give a city a clean look to maintain the dream book. Hello everyone, myself Endurga from Jyotinivas and it's my pleasure that I have an opportunity to speak on Clean and Green India Movement which is also known as Swesh Bharat Abhiyan launched by our Honorable Prime Minister Dr. Narendra Modi ji inspired by Mahatma Gandhi. We like our homes near and clean but when it comes to cleanliness, they become best daughters. Then how our surroundings are not as clean as our homes? How many of us actually make an effort to make our community clean and have stopped someone from spreading food? Ask yourself. In India, there is absolutely no attention given for cleanliness. The main reason that hampered the development of our country is dirt. India was ranked third in the most dirtiest countries in the world. It is all because of lack of strictness and awareness on cleanliness. Did you know a tiny plastic which we ignore brings with it a big deal? Ganga River, which is known for its sacredness, now have been ranked as third most polluted rivers in India. It is reported India 70% of water was polluted by dirt, mainly by plastic. It doesn't end up polluting only the environment and the water, but also affects the marine creature and birds into thinking it's food. Therefore, very easily enters the food chain and is consumed by people. This is one of the many ways that we can prevent this from happening. 1. Reduce the consumption of plastic 2. Proper disposal of plastic and 3. Solid waste management 
India is known for its greenery and raw material and now that greenery is rapidly disappearing along with the time. To prevent this, the Indian government brought in a lot of movements in which Chipko movement brought in a great success. Trees grow naturally in the forest and to be a responsible citizens, it is our duty to save and protect them. If you think you aren't enough younger or enough older to bring up a change, let me talk about some inspiring personalities who are just citizens but made a huge change in the same environment. Salma Radha Timaka, 107 years old lady on a mission to plant trees, has proved that there is no age to start something new. And Afrosha, Malhar Kalambi have dedicated their entire life on cleaning up the rivers and coastline. We are the best critics of our society. When we see an adult garbage or filthy roads, we blame the municipal corporation workers. It's true, it's their duty to clean the society, but what about our social responsibility? We see, we blame, but we need to be the change. Let us stick together and build a dream in India. Good morning to everyone, my name is M. Yashwan and I am studying 10th standard. Today my topic was my innovations of India and I am from Evergreen Matriculation, IS Secondary School. Okay, what is mean by innovations? The action required to create a new ideas, processes or products which when implemented lead to positive effect of change is called innovations. Now, India is emerging as a superpower in the world area and being a fast developing nation. The country is making its way through the hurdles to gain a bright future in the terms of science and technology. The Indian society is quite eager to accept technology into their day to day life as it makes the life much easier in terms of communication and functioning. New inventions in the field of in the field of techno science and technology are emerging are emerging from indian students or experts making the country to gain an limelight limelight in the world modern gadgets are introduced now and then is every walk of life making the life easier and solving the many problems the growth of technology today is sure the future will be the boom of almost the whole people Sectors such as education, infrastructure, electricity, aviation, medicines, information technology, and other fields. Groundwater. What is groundwater? The groundwater is the world's most extractive raw material. Supplies the su uh, sustain a range of human activity, yet because it is invisible and its supply often taken for granted, and it is often individuality and acknowledge. Thank you for this golden opportunity. Jai Hind. The speech from Yem Yeshwan. to everyone. My name is Sharon John of Standard 12, studying at Holy Family Convent, Chennai. I am going to talk on the topic, my innovation for Indian problems. India, a motherland, faces many catastrophes. One amongst all is water scarcity. Our humanity faces water crisis due to unequal distribution of water. The solution for this is simple yet high budget. The integration of rivers in India. India has 8 major river systems with more than 400 rivers in India. What if a storm or heavy rain hit our place? Because of less storage for water, it ultimately results in flood. And at the end of flood, it drifts us to drought. Drought pushes us into poverty. This situation had already happened in 2015 in Tamil Nadu where 70% of fresh water got mixed to sea with loss of life and property. Similarly, in Uttarakhand in 2021, loss of life and property was The integration of rivers had already revived in 1999 but not as of yet under plan. This project simply means connecting all rivers. 
It is a big budget project though it is worth it for us and for the upcoming generations. The integration of rivers simply means that interlinking the rivers in India. The Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri, Tapti and Narmada will be the interlinked by canals and reservoirs dams would be built along all the rivers in India. Dredging all reservoirs by which it increases the ground capacity level which in turn holds sufficient water added up with rainwater harvesting. The advantages of this project is there will be rotation of water throughout the year in entire India. The livelihood of our farmers will be benefited as they will not be dependent on monsoon for water. Thereby, it increases the productivity of crops and raw materials which in turn leads to export. The export leads us all to improvisation of Indian economy. On the conclusion, by integration of rivers, we will be able to control the scarcity of water, scarcity of productivity, improving Indian economy and the lives of our lovely farmers. Keep the rivers clean, our India will be evergreen. Thank you. Hi guys, I am Naresh of 12th Standard, studying in Sri Shankara Vidyalaya Matriculation High Secondary School, East Thambaram, Chennai. I am here to deliver a short speech on clean India. Cleanliness should be an essential part of everyone's life to be developed as a habit. Many Indian citizens suffer various diseases due to improper waste disposal. The Department of Waste Management will help uh, in implementing waste segregation systems. India began the Clean India campaign to make a country a cleaner and a better one. Clean India, also known as Swetch Bharat, is an initiative towards making India a better place to live. This is an initiative by our Honorable Prime Minister who is continuously asking people to keep their surrounding clean. The campaign not only applies for the litter around but also for proper sanitation, constructing better roads and developing a good infrastructure. This campaign covers both rural and the urban areas so that India can also develop like other countries. The initiative was started on the birthday of Mahatma Gandhi who has a great contribution on the freedom of India. A lot of campaign and advertisement has been published to motivate people to participate in this project. Even many schools and colleges have been a part to it due to which plastic has completely been banned from all national institutes. People are even asked to maintain a separate dustbin for recyclable and non-recyclable waste and a lot of public toilet has been developed. I just want to conclude my speech by saying Cleanliness is the only way to keep all the diseases away. Maintaining cleanliness around you and uh, find godliness everywhere. Cleanliness is a sign of development. So I just want to thank uh, Knowledge Institute of Technology for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. School. I'm going to talk about clean and green India. How many have we put an effort to clean our community? Ask yourself. We are the best critics of our society. We blame the municipal corporation workers. Yes, it is their duty to clean the city. But what about our social responsibilities? We should be the model example for model example and encourage others to do the same. I have some steps that can make our environment, environment clean. As Indian citizens, we should be make our country proud. Okay, first, we are very bad at it. Throwing disposing the garbage near us, near us, or when I'm sitting or standing, we should dispose the garbage properly and don't litter in public area. So stop littering and dispose your garbage properly. Next, recycle, reuse is a two magic mantra that can make our environment clean and green. So reuse and recycle. Say no to plastic. Plastic is poison for the environment and humans and animals. So say no to plastic. 
Maintaining hygiene is important because if we maintain hygiene inside and outside, we can stop mosquitoes and flies breeding so it will not be spread diseases. Dirty ants is one of the main causes of mosquitoes are getting sick, so maintain proper hygiene. Plantation is, we should encourage plantation, it is, has so many benefits and we should educate people about mod environment in modern world. So, afforestation and we should educate people of modern world. Okay. Okay, as everybody know, plants and trees are very important. Plants and trees are the reason we are living happily. So, we should grow more plants and trees. In the name of deforestation, they are, we are destroying plants and trees. It is also the cause of depletion of ozone layer. So, we should make path for a future gen generation. By instead of, instead of that, we are depleting the resources. So, we should conserve everything properly and use everything properly. Go green to get our India clean. Thank you. My name is Megistri. I am here to speak about the topic Clean India and Green India. Clean India and Green India is the two great missions launched by India which is set up by UNO under the Millennium Development Goals which are the yardstick of the agenda of sustainable development and for the same objective the government of India has launched the scheme in the name of Swetch Bharat Abhiyan. Green India and Green India are the two sides of one coin, that is, sustainable development in India. Clean India as Swachh Bharat Avian was the dream of the father of the nation. Nirmal Bharat Abhiyan was renamed as Swachh Bharat Abhiyan by the cabinet approval on 24th September 2014. It is a natural level campaign which was started by the government of India on October 2, 2014, 145th birthday anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi. The purpose of this campaign to clean all the towns and villages of India. Mahatma Gandhi had a great dream to make our country clean and green. So he gave an excellent message to the nation by providing education to keep the people around him clean and said sanitation is much more important than independence. On the inauguration of this mission, about 30 lakhs schools and colleges students and government employees took part. The famous slogan towards Swachh Bharat Abhiyan or Clean India is one step towards cleanliness. The main objectives of Swachh Bharat Abhiyan is to reduce or eliminate open defecation through the construction of individual cluster and community toilets, to convert the insanitary toilets into four flush toilets, to remove the system of manual scavenging establishment of accountable and transparent mechanism of monitoring the work of government. Uh, Indian government had goal to open defecation fee India by October 2, 2019. The Clean India, Green India program is unique because it involves children and youth. The future citizens as engine of chance is the well said that Clean India as the path to Green India. The next step after maintaining cleanliness is preventing and conserving the greenery. The demand of the time and situation is to protect the environment, beauty and purity of the surroundings. This task is quite prodigious. The major goals of Green India are to increase forest or tree cover to the extent of 5 million hectares and also improve the quality of the forest to improve ecosystem service like carbon sequestration and storage. The conclusion from the goals and objective we have been Happy welcome to everyone. Myself, Jeevan Prasad from GK Admitted Class 9 Secondary School. 
and once again warm and pleasant welcome to everyone today i am going to speak a few words about clean india green india let us go into our module welcome green india mission is one of the program introduced by our india let us know few words about green india mission a national mission of green india was announced by prime minister as one of the eight mission under the national action plan on climate changes it recognized that climate changes phenomena will seriously affect and alter the distribution types and quality of national biology resource of the country during 2011 to 12 the government of india has sanctioned the bridge plan under green indian mission for implementation in koli hills landscape of namakal forest development agency at the cost of 72.15 lakhs an amount of rupees 70 lakhs was spent up to 31st 3 2014 the prospective plan set to government of india during 2014 and 2015 is yet to be sanctioned mission objectives increasing forest or trees cover on 5 mha of forest or non forest lands and improving qualities of forest covering and another 5 mha of non forest forest landscapes a total of 5 mha improving ecosystem service including biodiversity hydrology service and carbon sequestration from the 10 mha of forest or non forest land increasing forest based livelihood income of above 3 million households living in and around the forest exchanges actually co2 sequestered by 50 to 60 million tonnels in the year 2022 and as now uh, due to some causes delhi has suffered from lack of oxygen due to that problem some of the human beings are going to die and dying till now thank you to everyone who and all watching our my video once again thank you and jai hind keep india clean and be safe Samita studying 9th at Nirmala Mata Convent Matriculation Higher Secondary School Kunimuttur Coimbatore I would like to talk on the topic self reliance in India Our honorable prime minister Narendra Modi ji announced the Atmanibharat Abhiyan or the self reliance India mission Atmanibharat is the vision of prime minister Narendra Modi of making India a self reliant country This mission is based on five pillars economy infrastructure system demography and demand an economic package that was announced to make india independent against the tough global supply chain and help empower the laborers poor and migrants who were severely affected by the covid-19 pandemic education health agriculture trade and environment are the digital connectivity for all segments of india so the main aim of this mission is promoting local products This mission is also expected to complement Make in India initiative which also encourages manufacturing in India including the agriculture sector. Then we come to the point of agriculture sector. India has been an agriculture based economy. Agriculture not only makes the country secure in the term of food, fodder and other raw materials as feed stock for industries, it also serves the source of livelihood for majority of Indian population. Almost 70% of India's population depends directly or indirectly on agriculture for their survival. And the context of making India Atmanibhar the task of achieving self-reliance and self-sustainability is easier and more cost-efficient compared with other sectors of the economy. Farmers have the provision to sell their agriculture products anywhere to anyone would be the reason for the growth of the farmers. India cannot be an economic superpower without becoming self-reliant in agriculture. 
At this juncture, I would like to share some important government decisions with respect to self in India. Changing the definition of MSME, boosting scope for private participation in numerous sectors, increasing the FGI in defense sector, support in solar manufacture sector. I would like to conclude that self-reliance is the ability to depend on yourself to make things done by your own. An example of self-reliance is growing your own food. India can only become self-reliant if it uses the best energy. Saving money is also equal to earning money. This lead love concept teaches how to save water, how to save energy, how to uh, save our resources. All department students have big opportunity. Once they get certificate from LEED, they can work for smart cities. They will have very bright futures, especially in India and all over the world.